Hi, Frank, over there. You gave me lunch at the yeah. Italian room. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I know our time is very Hi, Rob. Hi, Frank. 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 How are you? Yeah. Thank you. Well, you had a discussion about the recent visit to Moscow of our Secretary of State. I think it was quite a meaningful meeting. I'd be delighted to hear your views on this. Well, I would say, uh, Mr. President, that 
you know, we are very happy about the development. Uh, these last uh, one and a half or two years, they gradually building up to where we are now. We are, in Norway, very supportive of uh, what we have achieved and uh, the situation that we now can, can choose uh, to have an agreement. Uh, that really is, I think, uh, you know, a great achievement compared to what we have been working for since 1979. And from a Norwegian point of view, it is very clear that we want to support the agreement. We are happy about the development, and uh, we hope that uh, all other European governments in the end will find that this is a good uh, solution. Well, I. We have Does this mean you're you're coming around on Gap Mark? Give me one of those. We carry these on here for some. Well, I hope they're used to it. Well, listen, thank you all for coming in, and I'm sorry that we're late. I'm just dealing with the Prime uh, Minister of Norway. He settled a few word problems. But uh, I know you're in the middle of the debate on the omnibus trade bill, which you'll be voting later today on the Gephardt Amendment. We've spent countless hours, I can tell you, as I know each of you has in your committees, working to craft responsible legislation to enhance our competitive position in world markets. The Gephardt Amendment, in my view, moves in precisely the wrong direction by closing out markets rather than opening foreign markets that could brand us as clear violators of international agreements, thus undermining our ability to negotiate new trade agreements to broaden rather than restrict world trade, and it would subject the United States to counter-retaliation, which would curtail rather than expand our U.S. exports. I'd like to call on Jim Baker to outline in a little more detail the serious concerns that we have with this and some other provisions in the bill, and then I'd like Bob Michael to share with us the thoughts of the Republican leadership. Jim, I'm over here. Thank you. <laughs> All right. uh, well, Mr. President, thank you very much. I would say simply. Oh, yeah, sure. Good morning, Mr. Hello. President. How are you? It's very nice to see you. This is Jim Johnson, who's president of the American Bar Association. Thank you, Mr. President. I'll introduce the rest of the other hand. Happy to see you, sir. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. This is Bob McCray. Mr. President, I'm going to see you. Thank 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 you. Mr. President, Thomas Drew, oh, California. Yeah. Carolyn Lamb, and the Lord of the on Law Day, Alan Colbert, yeah. Chairman yeah. of our Young Lawyers Division. Pleasure to see you. Mr. President, Stanley Fisher, President of the Federal Bar Association. Well, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you. And you know more of it. We're good enough to give you a couple of weeks. Good to see you. Bob Evans, Senior Manager of the ADA. Good to see you. Greg Babb. That's it. There's the bureaucracy. Am I coming back here for a group photo? Yes. Yeah, everybody. 
I think they'll want us to squeeze in close. Okay. 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 Okay.